Hey guys, Midnight Strike here, back for another classic review. So this time I am going to take a look at the game that single-handedly revolutionized first-person shooting, Halo Combat Evolved. So to start off, I'm going to dig into a little bit of this version, the version, the original Xbox version that came out for the Xbox 180, as some people like to call it, or just the original Xbox, and then delve into the 360 version, which is essentially the same. It allows you to switch back and forth between the graphics and it includes Reach's multiplayer. So, to delve in this to this review, this takes this game takes a little bit more of a realistic approach towards the weapon structure because prior to this, most first-person shooters let you carry as many weapons as you want. And you could just switch back and forth whenever you saw fit. Games like GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, shooters, you know, th even third-person shooters like Metal Gear Solid and uh, just Grand Theft Auto is another one, but not that this is a bad thing, not that it's necessarily bad, but for Halo to go and only allow you to have two weapons and two grenades, it really adds a fundamental strategic element to the game, and it makes it seem more realistic and flow a little bit nicer. I mean, each person has their favorite weapon that they always like to use, but do you really want to switch it out for, you know, the weapon that may be better suited for the level? So you got to kind of ask yourself those questions when playing the campaign. And speaking of the campaign, it is very nice, very fundamentally structured, sound structured, amazing. It has a ton of variety, um, which is what, you know, subsequent Halo games are lacking. So in my mind, at least. So to delve in, you start off as the Master Chief, which is here he is green this one he's black for some reason but the whole thing is black so whatever but um you start off as the master chief which is pictured on the front cover he was reawakened from um, like a cryogenic sleep and just i think right after the events of reach i haven't really beaten reach yet so i can't really say all i know is it's a prequel and it happens right before the events of the first game so <sighs> level progression is phenomenal, as I said before. Lots of variety, lots of different ways to take out your targets, and there's these hunters, these giant hunters, and there are these giant creatures, and they always come in pairs. So you really have to strategically know how to take them out, where to shoot, and that part's, I mean, it's like, oh shit, a hunter, a hunter's coming, what do I do, you know? Kind of, um, but then if you shoot for the right spot, then you can take them out, or quicker, relatively. So, also, you get a variety of weapons, and a variety of grenades, and you get a, a little light, including for, um, dark areas that you can use to shine your way through, essentially. So, why is this so revolutionary? Why is this game so great? Why is everyone in the early to mid 2000s want to get their hands on it and play it non-stop for hours and hours and maybe even days at a time well let's take a look it has a very cohesive multiplayer with amazing maps and amazing graphics for its time actually the textures in this game just are a testament to how great and how powerful and advanced that the xbox was for its time and this is the one of the very few games that Xbox actually utilized to its that actually utilized the Xbox to its full potential, including lighting effects and whatnot. So, basically, this was one of the first games. I believe it was a launch title for the Xbox. And usually, launch titles don't have as good a graphics as future games. So, this again is a testament to how great the Xbox was back in its time. So, even though it was very short lived, it still to this day has a very, very huge and dedicated fan base. And unfortunately, this game, this version of the game was released before live, but I believe there was like a, an extension hookup that you could use to get on live for the original Xbox and the original version of Halo Combat Evolved. But Halo 2 really took that to the next level with some of the same remade graphics, remade uh, maps, that's what I meant, remade maps and they put those on, and that was the first one with the cohesive multiplayer, the online multiplayer. So, but what really started it was 
the multiplayer in this game, where you can have up to four people, four, <laughs> I held up two signs, but um, four people on the same on the same Xbox, and I believe you could system link, I'm not exactly sure on that, and I don't know if you can do it on the 360 for the original one, but um, it was a ton of fun to be had. And this game was revolutionary in that it inspired, it, it, it strived to inspire. I mean, developers took this game and revamped it into series such as Uncharted, such as Call of Duty, and, I mean, Call of Duty is very successful. Even though I personally don't like it, what it's become, I still, you know, testament to Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare and call even Call of Duty Three was really good. Had and um, Zombies even has its moments, but it is very, very inspiring. This game was Halo to what you know first-person shooters are the modern modern-day FPS because it, again it really forces you to strategize on what weapon you want to take for what level. So I don't know. Great game. Great level progression, great characters, and a really good story. I mean, that's really something that's lacking in today's first-person shooters is a cohesive story and campaign that really keeps you involved. And it's a story about the Covenant, basically, and versus the Spartans. And the Spartans are the two soldiers right here. And they basically serve to help out the Spartan leader, the Master Chief. So they are against the Covenant, which is a race of aliens, and then they find this ultimate weapon in Halo, and they want to go and destroy it, but then they find out that um, someone's trying to activate it. It's this little beacon thing. I'm not going to spoil anything for those of you who haven't played it, but how could you not have played this game at one point in your life? I mean, everyone I know has played it, basically. Unless you're like 14 and your mom doesn't let you... Your parents don't let you play violent video games for some reason. But still, I mean, play at your friend's house. It's amazing. It's a blast. It's fun to be had. Um, Halo Anniversary. This is a revamped version of the original Halo. And it comes in a sweet little case here. Little slider. And this one is a little glow glowish while the original is not. And it has a little bit of a texture there. So a really cool sliding case to start, and let's see, basically, there's a picture of it. It looks a lot nicer, a lot better than the original Halo, except for the fact that you can change the graphics. This is really interesting and unique for a game, is you can press the back, or on the PS PlayStation 3, you can select or press the select button, I like to call it select. You can press the back button select and go back, essentially, to the original graphics, the revolutionary graphics of Halo 1 on the Xbox. So if you don't like the original graphics, you can always go back to, or if you don't like the new graphics, you can always go back to the original because the, the new graphics are basically a skin, an outfit for the all the environments, for the entire game. And I gotta say, they look really great and from different times. The only thing that I did notice that was different that I can criticize about the new graphics is the interaction between the med packs. Because you used to be able to shoot the med packs and they would, you know, spin and have this little animation. But if you shoot them in the re revamp version, they don't, they don't for some reason. But then I switch back and to the original graphics and then they do spin. So... I don't know why they couldn't have put that little animation in there, but that's that's really nitpicking. That is like getting, you know, skin deep for the nitpicking. But um, another thing is this game has Reach's multiplayer, and already I loved Reach's multiplayer with all the lobbies and the and the different modes such as SWAT and stuff like that. And you can play them. What's really great is you can play them on revamped versions of maps from the original Halo, which is really nice. One of my favorite levels of all time was Prisoner. I, I believe it's, yeah, Prisoners. And um, Damnation was another one. Um, Beaver Creek, Battle Creek, I believe. So those three were actually my favorites, and they, they took those and they put them in a revamped version in the Anniversary Edition here. 
So that was really nice. And honestly, it has reaches multiplayer. So again, you can play different modes that weren't possible in the first game on these maps. So, and another one, it's just, it's just fun to be had. The only, the only critis or criticism that I can really make for that is it's on two discs. But, you know, again, everything else pretty much makes up for it. So, honestly, in terms of, you know, HD remakes, this is a remake. This is a straight up A plus perfect 10 out of 10 remake, okay? Just like Metal Gear Solid HD, except for it's not a remake. This is just HD put over, you know, up res textures. So, basically, these two are as good as it gets for as far as HD goes. So, perfect 10, perfect 10. Amazing. And extra content in this one. So, <laughs> plus in this one, but, you know. As far as Halo in itself goes, though, per I love the story. I love the progression. And this game is so revolutionary for its time and inspired a ton, a ton of games and series. And they were all successful. They are, to this day, successful. So, I'm going to have to give Halo, both of these, a perfect 10 out of 10. Because they honestly deserve it. And this is pretty much the pinnacle of first-person shooters right here. And the fact that they went out and remade Halo 1 just shows... It just goes to show how brilliant this game is. And it's still playable and it doesn't feel dated in the least. I mean, this game has held up basically better than any other game I've seen so or played so honestly 10 out of 10 amazing amazing title if you haven't checked it out already go do yourself a favor stop what we'll finish this video and uh, go check it out basically so that's really all I have to say to you I am midnight strike 3625 keep calm and rock the fuck on man